November 16th was a day Pointer basketball fans excitedly hailed as it marked the long-awaited return of injured star Tyler Tillema, 11 months removed from that fateful day against GW Whitewater last December. Uh, we were playing at Whitewater and we were playing really good in the first half and then I came off kind of a flare screen off the back and I stepped on a guy's foot and my whole leg, my ankle just kind of bent the wrong way it wasn't supposed to and I ended up tearing two ligaments in the very front of my ankle. Pointer basketball was ranked 12th in the nation at the time and although the team rallied around the loss of their leading score and still won the WIAC conference, a second round defeat in the NCAA tournament left a bitter taste in their mouths. The injury, however, could yet prove to be a blessing in disguise as Tillema was granted a medical red shirt for his lost season and gained eligibility for a fifth year. We kind of knew in the back of our minds what it was going to be, but we didn't really accept it. We kind of waited uh, about a month before we made the decision to red shirt me. We wanted to see how it progressed. And, um, but once we made the decision, I was kind of prepared for it. I mean, it hurts still. It's not something you want to do, but being able to get that year back and being able to get the medical red shirt, I was right on the line. So. That made, that made the process a lot easier. The support he received from his teammates throughout the rehab process was tremendous, and the injury only strengthened the pre-existing bond. Getting the support from my teammates and having them behind me knowing, you know, your senior year, it's not really what you want to do, it's not, you know, what you plan on, but they were there for me, they knew if I ever, you know, was feeling down or wanted to be picked up, they were always there. And, I was always there for them. I wanted to make sure that they still had a good year even though I went down and finished it the way we wanted to. The frustration of rehabbing an injury was not lost on Tillema though. It took about two and a half, three months just to get my ankle to where I could run. I could not run. I could do a lot of cuts and all that, but because it was right on the front of my ankle, the uh, exterior pushing and running, it just limited me so much. I decided to put that rehabbed ankle to the test. Okay. All right, guys, Tyler has agreed to enter a shooting contest with some old man, and we're going to take him down. We each took three shots from the top of the key, and when Tyler missed his last, my opening was there. I found my form on the second and needed my last shot to tie. Cool, guys. As you can see, I think the ankles. But 2-2, two, two, just for the record. Speaking of record, the Pointers have blitzed through their first two opponents, winning by an average margin of 30 a game. The Pointers have a senior-laden, experienced roster that currently sits number four in the NCAA Division III poll. Tillema is among the favorites for Conference Player of the Year and wants to make it known there's only one goal for Pointer basketball at the end of this season. It's national championship or bust this year kind of for us. We, we set the goal early in the season. Yeah, we want to win a WIAC championship, a WIAC tournament. We want to do all that, but we have our eyes on the prize at the end of the year. This has been Jason Slyke reporting for UWSP News Team.